Welcome to the world of thermal comfort with SimScale. As the standards of thermal comfort is getting stricter, leading to safe and comfortable environments, the need for predicting them is inevitable. We, the tool like SimScale developers and designers can easily have access to test their models for thermal comfort and safety. In this video blog, we, we took our SimScale kitchen here in the Munich office and identified a common problem we have. So how do we achieve thermal comfort while cooking? Here at SimScale, we have an office of 70 people who love to use our kitchen for cooking their meals. But we often find that it gets uncomfortable depending on the outside temperature, whether the windows are open or not, and other factors as well. Okay, so today we are cooking a beef steak with potatoes on the side, just to see how much smoke we do, and then we're gonna simulate this and see how it goes, how well we can evaporate smoke from this kitchen. In order to bring real scenarios into the simulation world, we will need a 3D CAD model to be designed. Here we can see the kitchen model designed with Onshape. And within the CAD model we have three human bodies modeled along with the table and the stove setup. Items which have a significant contribution to the scenario are modeled and all the other necessary details like door handles, knobs, bottles and cooking items are excluded. Once we have the CAD model we can easily upload it to our platform. By clicking on the geometry on our platform, we can simply create a simulation and this brings you a list of all the analysis types we have from uh, fluid dynamics to structural analysis. In this case, we are interested in convective heat transfer uh, for temperature changes and density variations in the fluid. The simulation tab has many settings. The most important ones are uh, the mesh which needs to be created. This is how it looks after just 18 minutes. Then uh, in the model, we can define the gravity, direction, and intensity, and also some uh, coefficients for the passive scalar, which is the smoke coming from the stake in this case. Then we have the materials, which is just air for the whole fluid domain. And uh, the important things now are the boundary conditions uh, the first one is the radiator so we have all the radiators selected with a fixed temperature value three people standing there another temperature and a heat source assigned to them same for the stove the cooking top uh, another heat source 100 watts per square meters the doors uh, are the inlet in this case so there's a 0 0.2 meters per second velocity coming in uh, which gives some stability to the simulation windows are the outlet and finally glass the glass walls we have on the on the inner side of the kitchen have a different uh, heat transfer coefficient so they're modeled as well finally you can define the the, the smoke source uh, in the advanced concepts uh, passive scalar source we can assign the the area where the the smoke source is and the initial concentration. Now let's take a quick look at the velocity field. This is a horizontal slice three meters away from the floor. The air coming from the main door at the bottom left of the slice 
flows mainly out of the closest window here. But there's also a slow draft moving towards the right hand side of the kitchen, which eventually flows through the central window, along with the air coming from the secondary door. This shows how opening the door and the window closest to the stove is very effective in removing the hot air and the smoke coming from it.